Emma, why are you here? Don't you have a meeting at 8? Why didn't you tell me you were sick? I heard you cough over the phone, Eric. I was worried for you. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Come on. I'll drive you over there so you're not late. I'm not going now. Other things can wait. You are important to me. Emma's eyes suddenly filled with tears. She had never felt this sense of worry for anyone before. Emma touched his face affectionately. Darling, I am alright. Please, don't worry. I didn't tell you because it wasn't a big deal. Come on, let me drive you over to the radio station. It is a big deal for me. It matters how you feel, and you can't just hide things from me. It might seem trivial right now, but if you don't share it, then it might turn into a big issue. I'll go to the radio station, but I have two conditions. You need to take medicine for your fever, and I'll be the one driving. Eric at that moment felt so touched. It was as if his armor had been sliced open and Emma's affection reached right to his heart. Are you still angry with me? Yes, I am. Please, forgive me. I didn't mean to hurt you. So promise me you're going to tell me next time you're sick. I know you're strong and good at finding ways to tackle a problem, and you only want people to see your strong side. But I'm not one of those people. Of course, my love. You're not them. People in love aren't afraid to show their weak side. And if I can be vulnerable, so can you. Let me also take care of you. This was the first time she realized what she exactly wanted out of their marriage. And headstrong Emma wasn't afraid to speak her mind. Eric pulled her into his embrace. I am sorry, sweetie. I promise I won't hide anything from you again. Or at least I'll try not to. Will you keep reminding me? It's hard for me to just let go and be vulnerable. As the leader of an entertainment empire, Eric made significant decisions in a ruthless world without revealing much emotion. The entertainment industry could be brutal, but the woman in his arms wasn't seeking to exploit or control him. She loved him. The couple shared a silent embrace, soaking in each other's warmth. Where's Emma? We're about to start the show. The station manager glared at Lisa in annoyance. Lisa's heart sank. She had a bad feeling about this evening. Yes, she's on her way. Please, can you wait? I don't wait for anyone. You can if you want, and tell her the news that she's been banned from our show forever. I'm so sorry I'm late. I needed... Do you think you can just show up whenever it's convenient for you? Let me tell you, I won't tolerate people who are not punctual. You can take your assistant and leave. For someone who's got a reputation for trying to sleep her way to the top, you've got a lot of nerve thinking you can just waltz in here whenever you want. Emma was stunned into silence for a moment, but then she pulled Lisa to her side. We're leaving. Right now. I know he's a jerk, but this could be a big opportunity. Oh, I'm sure. She's the first person to be late for one of my shows. Who does she think she is? The station manager finally returned to his seat. Before the meeting could begin, his assistant walked in, accompanied by another man wearing a tidy suit and a pair of black framed glasses. Luke, it's you. I didn't know you'd be coming here tonight. I'm sorry I didn't come out to greet you. The station manager stood up and reached for Luke's hand, but Luke kept his arms by his sides. No need to apologize to me, and I won't be staying for the show. I'm here on behalf of Eric Roberts. He asked me to announce that Kaleidoscope has decided to end its sponsorship of this radio station. What's going on, Luke? The show is doing so well. Did we do something to offend Eric? That model you were so rude to just now, Emma Miller, was late because she had business with Eric. He's not happy about the way you treated her, so let's just say you guys are out of luck. The station manager felt a chill down his spine. How did Luke know what was going on? What am I going to do now? All the good reviews he'd gotten over the years had given him a sense of invincibility. He'd become used to pushing other people around and not getting any complaints, and he had no patience for anyone without something to offer him. Luke, buddy, help me out here. We can't just stop this show. People depend on us. That's okay. A new show will come along soon enough to take its place. Luke, please, I hear you. From now on, I'll watch what I say. Emma can come on my show anytime she wants. It's bad enough that you asked her to leave without letting her explain herself. Insulting her was completely unacceptable. I recommend that you call her yourself and beg for forgiveness. And remember, Eric doesn't want to hear any ridiculous rumors, so you'd better watch what you say. Considering how poorly he had treated Emma, the station manager had no enthusiasm to call and beg for forgiveness. 
Nevertheless, for the sake of the show and to appease Kaleidoscope, he knew he had to do it. Miss Miller, Emma, I was wrong. I shouldn't have insulted you. I sincerely apologize for my rudeness and for not letting you explain. Would you please come back to the station? I appreciate your call, but I won't be going on your show. But what about Kaleidoscope and Eric Roberts? What about my show? I've had to face the consequences of my actions. I think it's only fair that you face the consequences of yours. Amber remained hidden away, and Mark Whitaker was still somewhere overseas. No one had any idea where either of them was. But that didn't mean Emma couldn't take action. Emma, all the people from the magazines and runway endorsements have gotten in touch again. They want to resume working with you. What are your thoughts? I think you should get back to them and say that I need some time to rest. I won't be taking on any jobs right now. Eric said H-World Entertainment will be holding auditions in the next few days, so I want to prepare myself for that. Plus, I have a few other pressing things I need to sort out. Lisa looked into Emma's eyes. Although she couldn't see what Emma was thinking, after all their years of cooperation, she had a pretty good guess. Are you referring to Amber? She seems to have dropped off the face of the Earth. If we want to find out where she is, I don't think it'll be that hard. After all, her assistant is married and has a family to take care of. He can't be hiding out too far away. Maybe you can help. We'll tell her assistant that there's a big company looking to sign her. And you're that big company, right? She can't continue like this. She can't just keep doing what she wants and causing problems for me. Seeing Emma like this, Lisa realized that her employer and friend had changed. Ever since the accusations had come out that she'd slept with people to advance her career, she had become more ruthless and clear-minded. I think I really haven't gotten to know you well enough over the years. This is a side of you I've never seen before. She knew Emma was smart, but up until now, she had also been naive. When she had been with Nathan, she trusted him completely and never questioned his actions or motives. However, she was now much more aware that people were not always what they seemed. And with the pain she'd experienced, her ability to deal with obstacles had improved. I'll go look for news on Amber and see if I can find out anything about her assistant. Emma nodded and then set some broth and steamed vegetables on a tray to take to Eric in the bedroom. He was reviewing some documents. You really can't rest, can you? I'm just checking out the artists who work with H-World Entertainment. Why are you suddenly so curious about H-World? I am always curious about what's going on in the entertainment industry. I know. You can only rest once you have everything in the palm of your hand. But that's why you're so tired. If I know you at all, I expect that you've already rejected all your previous jobs. After all, with your current status, you don't need to turn back. If you want to go to H-World, I will definitely prepare to stand guard. Emma was touched. He continued to be the person who understood her best. Even though she hadn't communicated anything to him about her plans, he still knew what she was thinking. <sighs> I am so lucky to have him. While the two of them were exploring their love for each other, Amber remained hidden away in her rental home. Watching the entertainment news, she was devastated. The incident had become viral, and she was right in the thick of it. Oh, again? How can this be happening again? Emma, on the other hand, seemed to be coming out the other side unscathed. Will Emma's plan to make Amber come out of hiding work? Will Emma be able to crack the H-World audition? What will be Amber's next step to clear her name from this controversy? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.